Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play yet another No Name Mame game. Today's No Name Mame game is, of course, Wooly Wolf Sagas. Or, Where's Waldo? Don't believe me? Look, I found him. So unlike usual quiz games where... I can't really understand what's happening. In this game, I know exactly what's happening. You have to find Waldo. I found him. It's a little bit of a weird game to control with the trackpad, because, or I mean with an arcade stick, just because it goes at a constant rate. It's doable. Actually, I've always been a little puzzled. So Waldo always has these groupies that are in like the same Waldo shirts, but it's like, where do you find the Waldo shirts? I've never seen Waldo shirts on sale. Oh, come on, I feel like this level is cheating. Well, that's someone. Where is he? Are we supposed to find the girl instead? Because I found the girl, but then... Oh, and now this level. At the very least, at least it's the same person behind each wall each time. Um... Come on, get out of here! Waldo, oh, no, you tricky son of a gun. Oh, and I hate this game, where, like, it tells you to do something, and then it doesn't show you Waldo or anything. Like, what am I supposed to do? And if you can't understand what's happening, please try not to laugh as I click on each an animal sequentially. Am I supposed to figure out who stole the pudding? If I wait long enough, will the game just, like, end? Will it, like, figure out? It's like, oh, okay. You, you clearly have no idea what you're doing. Alright, one ice cream cone. That's, like, what, 40 short of world domination or something? So this game, I mean, it really kind of mixes up the Where's Waldo uh, formula. So you've got all sorts of various Where's Waldo themed things going on. That's what I want to know, too. Well, let's... let's... Is that good or bad? Oh, well, I got an ice cream, so I'm happy. That was, that was really ambiguous. I had no idea what was going on. Actually, I kind of love arcade games because it's like it showed me that thing on the screen, and it's like I knew immediately what I had to do. I did not question at all why I had to do this, or to what effect, or even. All right, where's Waldo? Well, that's a robber. Oh, there he is. And I mean. It's not quite as bad as the books, where it's like the books, it was these amazing, intricate scenes. This, it's sort of like, hey, how fast can you play Where's Waldo? Alright. Oh, cool, it's another Where's Waldo. Oh, oh, because he moves. Waldo, you... Oh. I feel like Where's Waldo is a little bit cheap if Waldo keeps moving around the screen, because then it becomes less about, like, Where's Waldo, and more about, can you anticipate where Waldo's gonna be? Which, I guess, too, in a certain way, is kind of like Where's Waldo, but still. But I mean, dang, if I'm supposed to guess which one is Waldo just from... Well, you seem especially waldo is. Well, I mean, if you ever wanted to play Where's Waldo in sort of a more electronic format, like, combine your love of Where's Waldo and arcade games, then this arcade game would be the thing for you. If you like to just... If you like to just kind of test your perceptions and see like how good you are, this would also be a fairly good video game. But I mean, I can't even do anything. Well, okay, all right, I'll admit this is a strong overall video game. Granted, you have to be like wanting to play this sort of game, but otherwise, it's pretty awesome. Also, other games that kind of test your perception sort of like this, I re hardly recommend difference games, actually. I mean, you type in differencegames.com, you think it's like games that'll make a difference in the world. Nope, it's games where you have to spot the difference. But no, diff they've, they've evolved quite a bit from uh, your friendly, uh, um, 
newspaper, Sunday newspaper comics. Do I just have to tap it? Oh, okay, I have to time it. <laughs> That's right, environmentalism. You took an axe to the shop. Oh, the ice cream. Oh, okay, so you do better and you get to play longer. That's, that's a pretty nice way to do the gameplay mechanic. Although, of course, like all great arcade games, you lose more than you win. Or you lose faster than you gain. Although I wonder... It does seem entirely possible if I wasn't, like, flubbing the final round each time. That, that's... Oh, because Waldo moves around. Uh, close enough, yeah! That was actually pretty generous, I mean... I mean, my hand was technically on him, it just wasn't all that close. But I think the real danger of that was just, it takes up time. And I mean, that's kind of a clever arcade mechanic when you think about it. Because it's like, if you waste the player's time, then you're like, essentially earning money for free. Oh, this is gonna be intense. Oh, come on! That... Oh, this is... Oh my god, what? Def oh yeah, of course, Waldo was in the upper left, didn't you see? Uh, it's kind of like quiz games too, where it's like, if you're watching someone play, half of the time you're gonna know the answer faster than them, half of the time you're gonna know it's slower than them, but because the way quiz games work, it's like you either know the answer right away, or you kind of have to think about it a little bit. Is it me or none of the Maldo? Maybe it's no? But it's like sometimes you see what's happening a bit better than the person playing, and sometimes you don't. But it's like the time you do, it's like so instant, so fast. You're like, why isn't this loser figuring out it's there? Although, if anyone figured out that last scene, I'm, I'd actually be a little impressed. No idea what was going on there. Again, is it timing? Nope, it's just... Don't, don't do this in real life. Popping pressurized object. Did I just try to crush the world? I feel like that would have negative ramifications. Oh, I just love the strangeness of this game, but also the game- the core gameplay mechanic is pretty strong. And I mean, half the time it does try to screw you out of your money, but at the same time, I mean... That's kind of how arcade games work, and it just kind of comes with the territory. Sometimes, you just do things in life that make you feel a little dumb when you look back on them. Oh, that is... What what is happening? That is not realistic. Oh, there's Waldo. Just riding this dinosaur skeleton like it's some sort of like quarter motorcycle ride. That would actually be kind of why don't people have more dinosaur themed motorcycle rides? And then well that wasn't even sporting. But then the uh, dinosaur could like fall. Oh, I have to guess where Waldo is. Well, I guess Waldo doesn't wear red shoes. That's right, kids, you gotta memorize every single detail of Waldo's appearance. It's kinda baffling. You got an F1 car, you've got... Well, okay, I'm not gonna pretend to know everything, but... Is this some sort of museum, I guess? Is this supposed to be F1 history? Because I'm pretty sure F1 never had cars like that. I mean, I've seen these cars out there. Oh, right, of course. Waldo was in the helmet, obviously. I'm beginning to think that you can't just, like, default out of rounds like that. Like, it's just gonna count, tick the timer down all the way anyway. Alright. Wow. This game does have amazing variety. But at the same time, 
close enough, right? <laughs> the poor kid opens his mouth and was just like, Hey there, hi now. I mean, yeah, okay, this game has a surprising amount of variability, but at the same time, I mean, that is kind of almost entirely what this game is about. That is, like, showing you something different each time around. So, it's not entirely surprising, but I mean, we expect it to happen, and it's delivering quite nicely. Huh, I, I wonder too, like, games like this, you can just put Waldo in, like, a random place each time, so it can actually be different each time. And in fact, if you play different games, you kind of notice that after a while, if you, like, play it twice, it does actually kind of have, like, a set queue of differences that it, um, sorts out through. Come on, Waldo, where are you gonna show up next? Oh, it's like a shooting gallery. Oh, come on. Almost fast enough. I wonder, like, I'm assuming, based on the, uh, controls that you could set up, I'm assuming this game has, like, some sort of analog stick that you can float around. Right now I'm using sort of, um, uh, well, I guess you'd call it a digital thing, but, um, oh, taking a guess, taking a chance, winning a dance. But this, it's like digital, so it's like switch, on or off. So we can just move at that preset speed, which, I mean, if you're gonna do that, you kind of have to know the ideal speed. Come on, I know where he is this time. Maybe? No. Oh, it's not even gonna give me a pass, it's just gonna... How does that make any sense? What, what the heck? Whatever, we're eating nice tonight. Ice cream for everyone. Well, I guess I have to win three times for ice cream for everyone. And also that silly dog who never shows up. Oh wow. Do I just do it in a circle? Plus I feel like I'm gonna completely destroy my joystick if I keep doing stuff like that. After a while, you'll sort of have your favorite sort of way to play the game. What is happening over there? But I mean, eventually you're gonna find your favorite gameplay type, and you'll kind of wish that it was just that mini game over and over and over again. You see, the other mini games is sort of a drag that uh, kind of prevents you from playing that favorite game. Of course. The real trick is to make sure that it's the same game for everyone and then changing your arcade game so it's like everyone just plays that one. Oh, is it you? No. Oh, it is. Oh, I hate that girl with the glasses. She looks just like Waldo, except she's not Waldo, so it doesn't count. But the real trick is to make sure that everybody likes the same minigame so you can create like a new arcade game just based on that minigame. Oh, this is evil. Oh, well, okay, that's nice. Maybe on the hidden ones you don't know. One time it was like the cave one and I tried pressing it on Waldo and it did not take. Oh, well, evidently you, you're damned if you don't, so let's do. Well, we do have the clue that it's two. So I'm guessing we have to select those two blue gloves in the middle of the screen. Um, maybe it's two thieves? Maybe it's the dog who's too cool for school? No, it was the chicken and the hag. Why does that make sense? Am I past level one yet? Are there even levels in this game? It seems like you would just play forever and ever again. Well, unfortunately, the minigames have just started to repeat. Does that bode poorly for the rest of the game? We'll find out after the rub. 
Hey, stop complaining. I'm assuming I didn't do well enough. Hey there, Billy. No food today. It says, where's Wally in English? It's like they know his name is Waldo, but they don't care. I'm sure you've noticed this at least seven times by now, but in the lower bottom of the screen, Waldo is constantly staring into your soul. Try not to stare back. You could, you could lose that way. Whoa. All I can see are his two eyes and the glasses. The rest of existence is slowly fading out. As I should do that on the fourth bonus round. Oh, come on. Waldo, stay in one place. I wonder if you get the same sort of effect. It's like, you've got two kids playing Where's Waldo. One of them's like moving the book all around in random directions. And the other kid has to tap on it. Oh, that's a terrible waste of time. <laughs> Spend good time like that. Oh man. Actually, it's some pretty nice sprite work on those birds. All right, now let's stare at Waldo and watch slowly as the rest of existence sort of fades out. The whole world becomes Wally. -E. In fact, if you kind of stare long enough, it looks like he's in front of a U.S. president flag. Can you imagine Wally 2017? I think if you stare long enough, it sort of looks like a bicycle. I don't know. I kind of want to hallucinate. Whoa! What was happening there? Because the guy turned into an alien. I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. Also, the number—it's getting low. We made it to level two. I I'm pretty sure that doesn't actually mean anything, but. We shall persist. Ah, I figured out a new game. Let's win even better. Are we supposed to be like reenacting great moments in Lincoln's life? Or Washington, I guess. I'm actually not really sure. Probably Lincoln. After a while, all the old US presidents sort of fade together. Actually, yeah, I mean, you see that kid when he was in his, like, Where's Waldo tank top? He was actually pretty buff. Why doesn't he look that buff everywhere? Then he could have a bit of beefcake and have everybody win. Ah, oh, there's Waldo. It's not really sporting when he's, like, next to aliens that don't look like Waldos at all. I get it. I can imagine just one stage would just be like a million of the Where's Waldo girls and like one of them is the real Waldo. Oh, there he is. Man, that's, that's pretty trippy. You just have to like be able to focus on Waldo. Actually, I think people have done experiments on like how, how well you're able to remember someone's face. I can only imagine that after playing this game for like a couple hours, somebody would be able to draw... A portrait- DANG IT! Somebody be able to draw a portrait of, like, Waldo, like, perfectly, right down to every single minuscule detail. Alright, let's see if we can... So what's the pattern? So far it's been stuff that's, like, really weird and wacky. But everything's weird and wacky. Let's try the antisocial alien. Um, alien with too many arms? Waldo? The pirate? Lizard guy? Oh, right! It was the Where's Waldo poster, of course! How could I not have gotten that? Oh, I think you have to get 32 more ice cream cones for level... Well, now I think it'd be level 3, but we got knocked down to level 1, I guess. Well, if... Come on, auto-fire. Aid me! <laughs> Admire my immense strength. <laughs> World Armageddon was worth it. 
Oh, arcade games. You have no idea, auto fire. Oh man, I kind of want to play track and field now with auto fire on. It's a completely different game. I mean, it still gets hard after a while because some of the events are about timing. And you have to turn off auto fire on some of the buttons or else. Actually, there was like the Konami Collector series for um, the DS. And then that game was pretty sweet in that, like, you could turn auto fire on and off. In fact, you could even mess around with the dip switches on the machines. That was actually really cool. That game was awesome. I mean, the only catch being it was like a Konami old school arcade collection. So, I mean, if you're not into old school Konami co arcade games, then. What? Do I get points for where alternate universe Waldo there? You see, there's like Yellow Waldo. What's up with him? Is his name like Yow? I mean, Odal? Oh, now, now the game is just taunting me. It knows I want to. Oh gosh, it's playing now? Ah, no movement. Oh. Well, at least we know who would win in a foot race. Waldo versus the Cursor. Waldo wins. Alright. I think I can figure this out now. Is it the sketchy fox? No. We're looking for something that actually looks ordinary. Maybe it's... The guy who likes yellow? No. Yes! It was the totem pole the whole... Oh, what? That wasn't it? I, I don't get it though. Are we supposed to choose something that looks out of place? Because I'm pretty sure half those things looked out of place. Although I guess sketchy boxes fit in everywhere, so I stand corrected. Oh, this game. This game is impossible. Eh, close enough. Oh, come on, don't I get, like, half a food for that? There's some food for thought. Keeps walking behind that thing, but nothing ever comes out. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cheap. You're not allowed to do, do a fine... Maybe that was a stationary wall, though. Um, episode stage. Hello. Maybe this will be the find them then. Okay, so that was the Baldo's moving stage, which wasn't too. It's it's playing right now, isn't it? Oh, it's the girl! No! And there were two of them too. There's another girl, sort of by Waldo. These these people are evil. Whoever thought of the girl Waldo is evil. Pure evil. Oh my god. I'm I'm going insane. And then there's Yellow Waldo too! Whoever thought of Yellow Waldo is probably like related to the person who came up with Lady Waldo. Alright, game. Let's see if I can figure out what's wrong with this picture. Sure, we'll go with that. Well, I'm tempted to say the mermaids, but... No, those are real. Big fish. The werewolf? Right, but the wizard and the mermaids, they're perfectly fine. But no, that fish and that werewolf. Whatever, I got four ice cream cones. I am officially the mayor of Waldo Town. Next step, the mayor of Earth Town. Oh. What's, what's the motion for this? Like, if you just go in circles, it doesn't... Maybe if I go up and down? Sadly, there's no auto-fire for joystick motions. You could make bank if you did that. You just let me do a Shuriken motion the entire round. That'd be so great. <laughs> You can, you can even set it on a loop. Did I beat the game?
kind of a bittersweet ending for those two people. Wait, what was he doing with that face down there? To be continued? Heck yeah! Does that mean it still goes? Is this kind of like Where's Waldo New Game Plus? No, it's like Where's Waldo Test Your Patience as the game loops. Well, let's see how quickly I can lose. But just to prove that I can, Waldo's there. Well, I mean, it's kind of an awesome Where's Waldo game that it's like, you just really want to keep playing over and over again. Is it going to do anything awesome for the intro screen? Because, I mean, like, the gameplay was pretty cool for a Where's Waldo game. A little weird that it just, like, closed, or just ended after, like, 25 or so minutes of, like, pretty sweet gameplay. I mean, that's, that's more than enough time. I mean, that's... Hmm... I wonder if that's comparable to how much time you would get out of a book. And if a book's about, like, let's say ten bucks, you probably made out, actually, as far as time-wise. Huh, well, that's pretty neat. Sadly, Waldo knows that there's credits in the machine, and he smells blood. He wants to play. In fact, he's staring at me right now. He just wants me to play. But dang, that was Where's Waldo? And I could, like, give my opinion of the game, but I think the very fact that I was enticed to play the entire game until the end, and wanted to play more just to see if there was maybe more new content, speaks for itself. Well, on that note, this cat's got a scat.